So my name is Nathaniel Libeler and I am a summer intern here at the Albert Baker Fund. And today we are outside in beautiful Sacramento, California, downtown, just a couple blocks from the Capitol. And we are going to show you a tour of the office. As we walk into the office, the first desk we come across belongs to Jennifer Day, our office administrator. Uh, she does a lot of the day-to-day -day duties and makes sure the office stays functioning and answers a lot of phone calls. So, Jen, uh, if you had one favorite duty that you have here at the office, what would it be? Um, probably cutting checks. Um, we, we go through a, a pretty rigorous process of the student applying and us reviewing. and um, It's always really nice to finally have a check to uh, mail out to someone who really needs assistance. <laughs> um, yeah, that's probably the most fun thing to do. <laughs> and one thing you should know about Jen is that she loves to travel, and if there's one place that you could go, Jen, that you haven't been to, where would it be? Um, well, Nate recently introduced me to the destination in Norway called Lofoten. It's a kind of isolated area where it's above the Arctic Circle, but like 70 degrees, so I'm totally going there. It's going to be a trip. <laughs> I didn't have an office last year, even though we had moved in, and I had no idea I was going to have an office this year, but it's absolutely amazing to feel so a part of the Albert Baker Fund. My main duties here include database work and working on a special project that is going to help all of you, but I'm going to leave it a secret for now, so you'll find out later. The next employee you get to meet is none less than Marilyn Jones, our newly appointed director of programs. And I have to tell you, she is quite the character from time to time. And uh, how have you liked it so far here at the Albert Baker Fund? It's been great, and um, I really enjoyed getting to know the students through their applications and getting to recommend them for grants and loans. It's a real privilege to be part of it. And where did you uh, move here from, Marilyn? I moved from Boston, uh, where I was for 11 years, but I'm originally from this area, so I'm returning home. What were you doing out in Boston before? I worked at the Mother Church for about eight years total, and then I continued living there for a while, and then I'm back here. Well, that's wonderful. And uh, had, since you've been to Sacramento, have you had a favorite restaurant? Absolutely. Ernesto's on 16th and R, I think we decided. Yeah. Ernesto's Mexican. Thursday night mariachis. It's the place to be. Alright, thanks Marilyn. So, one of our main pieces of artwork we have here is our Albert Baker original signature. Uh, we'd like to give a huge thanks to the Longmuir Museum, which had the original signature on file, which a man named Gary, who is an artist friend of our office, then blew up and painted for us. So, that's that. Another interesting part of our office is our trio of clocks, uh, which represent the three different time zones that the Albert Baker Fund staff operate in. And uh, here's Jen to tell you about that. So uh, the first clock is for California. That's where ADF headquarters is here in Sacramento, the capital. Um, we have Kinshasa for um, the DRC, Democratic, Democratic Republic of Congo, where our West Africa rep is, and Kampala in Uganda for the location of our East Africa rep. Um, we operate in several countries in Africa and we tend to have quite a few meetings with our two representatives and meetings don't always work out and there's been some time commitment issues and when um, the clocks were first put up I kind of looked up and I saw it and I was like wow time for thinkers is now it's not a missed opportunity of time or management or organization it's just it just is and Every, everything is connected and we're all together, so time is not an issue, because <laughs> time is now. And this is the office of Donna Fletcher, our Marketing and Communications Manager, and let's hear a little bit about what she does. Hi Nathaniel, I think I have a really great job. I get to stay in touch with our students and make sure that we're telling the stories of how they're making a difference with their education and also make sure that the entire Christian science field knows that we're here to help them. And the more that I get to know our students, the more excited I get about what we do. And we get thank you notes every day, almost every day, from grateful recipients, whether they're Christian science nurses 
or students that have been in the NLC program at uh, Discovery Bound, college students from all over the world. We love you all. Up next we have our final office and it belongs to somebody very important and we will head inside to find out who it is. And behind his desk, lo and behold, was Alan Basher. Alan is a just a great guy, if you want to know anything personal about him. Uh, he's definitely more than just some important, intimidating figure behind a desk. And uh, let's hear a little bit about what he does from him. Wow. Well, Nathaniel, it's great, been great to have you here this summer. Um, you know, as you know, the Albert Baker Fund's been around for over for nearly 50 years. It's amazing. And, and here we are sort of carrying on the work that was begun a long time ago. And um, it just gets more and more exciting every day. We've got our new office. We've got great staff. We've got these, these incredible friends in the, in the field that help us every day. And we've got tremendous students that we're building relationships with. It just it, it couldn't be a better place. And I think that the I think that the um, the future is really is really exciting for us. This is really important work, and it's it's just it's fun to come to work every day. It's been fun having you here this summer. And something people may not think about is that the Albert Baker is much more than a place to receive grants and loans, isn't it? It is. If it was just about the money, I'm not sure we'd need to be here. We, we, we provide assistance in ways that go far beyond the money. We, we, we provide assistance so that active Christian scientists can sort of make their demonstration of education and then from there go out and make a difference in the world. And um, we're pretty excited about about all of that. It, it's, it's really important work and it's a lot of fun. Thank you.